If you would like to know what is the most efficient way to create this kind of opening profilations in Revit, just watch this tutorial till the end. I assume that the, probably a lot of you were doing this on the next way, so you create a wall, and let's say in this case I'm going to make a bit wider wall, let's say 400 millimeters. In 3D I'm just going to get rid of those scope boxes and levels, so we have a better overview. So what I'm thinking what was the most common way that the, the architects are doing this in Revit is that you firstly select the wall, then you go to the edit profile and then you create a kind of the opening. And then in order to create a profile, you go to the component model in place and let's say generic models and for the tool you take a sweep. And you probably lock those constraints for the sweep. You go here, you create a profile. I will just mirror this. And let's close this with the trims. So when I click finish, you see that we have kind of the profilation in Revit and because it's locked, even if I go here to the edit profile and I extend the width of uh, the opening, it's going to follow. So this is okay if you are creating a one opening, which will work. But let's say, and let's imagine that you have a multiple openings in your Revit project and uh, that you also would like to measure and to know what is the width and the height of the opening. This is not a good way. And this is definitely not the way which I'm going to suggest you to do. So, as I said, if you're creating one opening, it will work. If you're going to create a multiple openings, this is going to be the way which you should proceed. So, go to the file and then new and pick new family. So, for a type, just go here and pick door family, metric door. Then here, in this case, I'm going to delete those trims. And what I'm going to create will be, I will just go to the exterior, let's say. So here I will take create, we'll take a sweep tool. So the same thing, uh, by the way, just one thing I need to check is, okay, exterior. Let me see what's the name of the reference plane. So it's exterior, you see, is this one. So I'm going to exterior, create, and I will take a sweep tool. So path, and I'm going to take a reference plane which is called exterior then I'm going to pick the lines I'm going to lock it actually I'm picking the reference planes let's trim this and then go to the plane view and create a profile Now I will just mirror this and I am going to finish the trim. And what, what I can also do is that I can say that this distance from this reference plane here is always 20 and the same here and the same here lock it and then I can just make that this is 10 always and the same on the other side finish it then go to the family 3d view select our sweep and for material create a parameter save the family and name it. Now I'm going to load the family into the project and I'm just going to place it here. And let's say that I just would like to reset our wall profile and I'm going to delete the previous sweep and I'm just uh, going to extend the wall. So now if I want, I can just create similar 
and as you can see i can create a multiple elements actually the multiple openings and what is the most important uh, is that if i would like to let's say create the different size of the opening i can just do this with let's say just changing the parameters on the width and of the height so it's quite simple <laughs> Uh, even simpler than you were expecting, I'm pretty sure. And that's not the end. Let's say that you would like to create a nice curtain like we have on a picture here. You need to go here to the file, go new, and then create a new family. So in this case, I'm just going to take a profile. And what I'm going to create will be, let's say, the curtain, which is 120 millimeters height. then go here to the family category and parameters and then instead of generic just pick the wall sweep name this one actually save it and name it and then load it into the family actually into the project and now uh, go to the architecture wall and take a wall sweep tool so go to edit type and create a new type. And now here for the profile, just pick the profile we, we just draw. Click apply and then just place it here. And as you could see, we have a very nice skirting and we have a very nice detail here where we have the, uh, where the skirting and the door uh, touches each other. So. This was a very simple thing and if you would like to know more about the interior design things and how to create interior design projects in Revit, just take a look at this video.